The back and forth battle between Republicans and Democrats at the state capitol in Frankfurt continues tonight. The latest is over transparency and the Democratic Speaker of the House calling for a committee of lawmakers to investigate whether the Republican governor broke the law. ABC 36's Melanie Kendall reports. Truth and transparency and open government is what the taxpayers of Kentucky expect and what they're entitled to. House Speaker Greg Stumbo wants a five-member nonpartisan committee to investigate claims that Governor Matt Bevin delayed a road project as political retaliation. I can't sit by and allow these serious matters to go unlooked at. The Brandon Crossing Road Project was approved by the Bashir administration in December 2015, but was later delayed by Bevin's administration. After Bevin took office, Representative Russ Meyer, a Democrat out of Nicholasville, says he was approached by the governor to switch parties. When he refused, Meyer claims he was threatened by Bevin and the road project was delayed. It is a committee to find out what the facts are and why these actions occurred in the manner that they occurred in and why taxpayers' money uh, were spent. There was absolutely nothing political whatsoever about the Brandon Road project. Bevin's chief of staff, Blake Brickman, says the project was delayed because then-Governor Steve Bashir moved forward prematurely. He says Stumbo is simply trying to distract voters. There are many, many scandals that have happened on Speaker Stumbo's watch. The people of Kentucky deserve the truth and they should not buy into this political charade 34 days before an election. Brickman pointed to a voicemail. He says Stumbo left Representative David Floyd, a Republican from Bardstown, about the allegations. The message appears to be Stumbo asking Floyd to be on the investigative committee. You know, see what happened. I'm sure there's, the story's probably not as bad as um, maybe uh, it was portrayed. Melanie Kendall, ABC 36 News. Now, Speaker Stumbo hopes that committee can present its findings before the General Assembly returns for its legislative session in January.